Hey you guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. I'm having a wonderful, wonderful day. It's about 102 degrees outside and I'm just relaxing in here in this beautiful, nice, cool snake room. Now, this is gonna be a nice video. I'm gonna be feeding Paprika's babies for the second time. If you watched my last video, I fed them for the first time on camera and they all ate on the first try. It took a little time, but they all ate. So we're gonna be feeding them again, see if they all eat, see if they eat right away. And I'm gonna be showing you guys Pumpkin and Riddler's babies. They all shed out. So this is gonna be the first time I'm showing you them since they shed. And then we're gonna be putting them into the rack it's gonna be a great video. I just need a little caffeine. Let me go grab my coffee and I'll be right back. All right guys, I got my coffee. Now you know it's really hot outside, so I didn't feel like making a hot coffee. I had them add an extra shot of espresso just to give it a little kick. You know, I like my coffee a little strong and the regular coffee I get from the outside world usually doesn't meet my expectations. So I got a little bit of extra caffeine in here. Now I wanna make a toast to all you guys watching my videos. I want to make a toast to these babies that had their first shed. I'm going to be showing them off. I'm just feeling great. So here's to you, here's to them, and here's to everybody. All right, guys, before I show you Pumpkin's babies, I just want to show you Pumpkin herself. She's just hanging around, and later on, we're going to be fe actually she eats tomorrow she'll she'll be eating her nice dinner tomorrow i just wanted to show her off to you beautiful beautiful reverse okra tea from lee abbott i got this girl as just a tiny tiny three month old snake she grew beautifully look how nice and robust she is she's still growing a little bit more and she is just such a sweetheart and you know what i think she's a little hungry so i'm gonna put her back because we're going to be feeding tomorrow. I just wanted to show it to you. And you know what? Let me see if Riddler is in shed. If he's not in shed, I'll show him to you real quick. All right, guys, this is Riddler. Pumpkin is the mom. And this is the dad to the babies that I'm going to be showing you today. The Riddler is the lucky man. He also bred with paprika. Paprika, my extreme Abitoka T female. She's a lot more extreme than him. He's pretty extreme himself, but his babies always come out just amazing. His babies actually come out more extreme than him. Now he's not very big, and I wanna show you something interesting about him. His belly is orange and black from the top to bottom, orange and black, that's his belly. And most of these babies and paprika, none of them have that exact orangeness in them on the belly. It's usually just black and white like a piano board. So that's something that I really like about Riddler. Now I'm gonna put him back and I'm gonna show you those beautiful, beautiful babies. So just for reference, this is paprika. See how it's nice and white and pure black. And she shed out about four weeks ago so she's not looking her absolute best right now but still looking just beautiful a lot bigger than Riddler probably double the size and nice and extreme that tail almost pure jet black look at those nice black saddles so now this video is about the babies so I'm getting excited showing you the parents let's go see those beautiful beautiful babies So here are Pumpkin and Riddler's babies. Now it's really hot out there. I'm not trying to sweat too much. So I'm gonna show you them in here. I did go outside to show you a little clip of them, but let's take this off. Now that's the clutch. They're all hanging out. 
together and now their base color seems to be lighter than Paprika and Riddler's. Two extreme Abitoka teas. The babies have a darker skin tone. This was Riddler and Pumpkin reverse Oka tea with a regular Abbott's Oka tea. So these are more like a buckskin look, but let's let them shed out a couple more times and then we could do a direct comparison. And this was one of the things I was so excited about with this clutch. I could raise them and then compare the two clutches. It's just amazing. All right, guys, I put on the blue gloves so you can see the contrast of color just a little bit better. They don't like when I move my hands when I'm talking. So let me give you a close up look. See what we can see on camera. Now you can see what I was talking about. See how light the base color is on these. And that is just beautiful. Something a little bit different. Again, these are babies. So they're going to continue to shed and the colors are going to change. But these definitely look lighter like a buckskin. So I'm really excited to see what these turn out to be. And those saddle count is so high. Look how many saddles and how uniform these saddles are. This clutch is just amazing. And let's take a look at the belly. So there's the belly, black and white. Now that might orange up with age. Hopefully some of them do, just like Riddler. And Pumpkin, the mom, has an orange belly, but she's a reverse Oka T, so that's expected. Look at the nice bold markings on these. And in a couple of weeks, actually a couple of sheds, those saddles might start to turn a nice maroon red and we'll see how extreme they are as they're outlined by that nice black with these, with that beautiful light tone. Just, just amazing. Give you a close up on the head stamp and that nice solid head stamp. Just an amazing looking baby. All right guys, so this is a different baby. I just put that baby back and I took out another baby. I think this is one of the bigger babies in the clutch. This one looked nice and chunky. It might be a female. And look how amazing this one looks. The same skin tone, <laughs> the same skin tone, such, such bold markings, a slight aberrant right there in the pattern. But other than that, just an amazing, amazing looking little snake. Now these are pretty calm for just being a couple of weeks old. And I'm so excited once these start to shed out a couple more times and show those colors in the saddles to see how extreme they are. I have a feeling these are gonna be amazing. So everybody has their own way of doing things, but I like to keep it as simple as possible with just paper towel, a half hide of a paper roll. And I like that paper towel so you can see whatever's going on. The snake can't hide a pinky if it didn't eat or regurgitated. You can see when it goes to the bathroom, very easy to clean. So this is what I like for the newborn babies. After about a month, then you could switch them to whatever you like. So a lot of people don't like putting hatchlings in racks. They could escape easily, so they put them in lidded bins and they stack them up. I just don't really like the lidded bins. It's a lot easier in the rack. I built this rack myself, so I made it extra tight so there's no way to escape. I had all my babies from a week old in this rack last year with no escapes, but I could fully understand why some people prefer the lidded bins. And if I have a baby that hatches out extra small, I definitely wouldn't put it in the rack, 
But these are nice and hefty babies. Already had a nice pinky right off the tongue the first time and you can see these nice bold markings I have a feeling this one's gonna be very extreme but we can't tell until probably one or two more sheds just such a bold snake even on the side the patterning just amazing paprika and Riddler produce some amazing babies so now we're gonna start off with baby number one the baby I was just handling. Let's see what happens. Boom, got it. Now last week, baby number one ate with no issues, about two or three minutes wiggling the pinky. So this time he or she took it quicker. What a beautiful baby. And there she is gobbling it down, or he. So now baby number two last week didn't eat regular frozen thawed. I had to brain the pinky, which exposes the brain a little bit and makes that scent really come out. But he ate off the tongue on the first try, but I had to brain the pinky. Let's see if I have to do that again. And you can see he's already walking away. So it doesn't look like he's interested in the pinky regular, so I just brained it and let's see what happens. He seems to be a little bit on edge right now, probably because I'm recording, but let's see what happens. So I'm gonna leave that pinky in there for a little bit and we'll try baby number three. So just like bait so just like baby number two, this baby also I had to brain the pinky. I'm not braining it yet. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. So this baby, I had to brain the pinky last time. This time he's taking it no problem. And I didn't even take one minute. It was like 30 seconds. He already struck. So you see some babies are going to take a little bit longer than others to get acclimated to learning about how to eat these beautiful, beautiful rodents, but baby. So now this week, baby number two doesn't want to eat. So we're going to try the deli cup method warm pinky in the bottom of a deli cup put the snake in cover them with a paper towel put them in a room in the dark leave them in there for about an hour oh baby check this out look at that belly he ate that pinky let's double check the pinky is gone. All right, guys, so he ate the pinky. You saw I was playing with it, moving the pinky around, reheating it, braining the pinky, nothing was working. And we used the deli cup method, which is very effective. And there you go. You see right there in his belly, nice and plump. So it's not always gonna be one, two, three every time even though last time he did eat the brain pinky off the tongue, this time he didn't. Give it another one or two tries and he'll probably be eating off the tongues like a champion. Oh, that South Florida sun is starting to go down. It's going away, bringing in that cool breeze. It feels nice. It's still humid out here, but it's really, really feeling nice. I showed you all those beautiful babies. We put them in the rack 
And now, Paprika and Riddler's babies, all eight. Second try, all of them eight. Baby number two gave me a little issues last week. I had to brain the pinky, and it took me about 10 minutes going back and forth, back and forth, but I'm patient. And at eight, this week, that baby didn't want to eat off the tongue. So I tried that deli cup method, which worked perfectly. You just have to be patient. Sometimes they'll eat one week, and then the next week they don't want to eat. So you gotta try different methods. As long as they're consistently eating, they're gonna start knocking those pinkies down off the tongue, no problem. Now I'm hungry, watching all those babies eat. Oh, it got me hungry, and I'm too lazy to cook right now. So I'm gonna head to the Chinese restaurant, a real nice Chinese restaurant. Get some dumplings, beef lo mein, some other nice things. And I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of the night. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ah. Ah. ah, I got it on myself again. Ugh. All these beautiful babies. And baby number two. You see how much trouble a duck's walking by and a duck just walked by and distracted me. I gotta do this again. <laughs> Thank you.